Hi. Hello. Hello. On Johnny. Nam Sanji. Nam Sanji. We are Pila. We are Pila. Are you good? Are you good today? Is everything A okay? Let's hope so. Let's hope that everything is going well, going great, going perfectly fine. Perfectly, perfectly fine. Perfectly fine, perfectly fine. Um, yeah, let's just hope so, hope so, hope, hope, hope so. So, I have been putting out questions, I have been throwing out question that you and asking you guys what would you like to see what kind of videos would you like to see but you guys you guys you guys have all been pretty much saying the same thing which is whatever you would like to put out pretty sure whatever it is you put out we will like just do what you would like do what you like do what you like do what you like and this is our channel this is mine and your channel in terms of I make the content you watch we are in symbiosis okay symbiotic association I make you watch I make you watch I don't make you don't watch I don't make you don't watch but the thing is as a maker of the content I would pretty much like to put out content that you guys like content that you guys enjoy you guys enjoy you guys enjoy so if you have a video suggestion a video you would like me to put out put out put out it's never too late never too late never too late just put your suggestion put your suggestion down below down below I'm here to listen so that I put out what you guys enjoy to watch what you guys enjoy to watch but because you're not telling me what you want for now I'll be posting what I want and it's not really what I want but it's something that I hope will help you fall asleep hope you fall asleep by doing triggers that I find relaxing one of those being hand movements hand movements face brushing face touching but I wanted to eat that thing I wanted to add a bit of flavor which is word tracing word tracing trace word tracing word tracing hopefully you will enjoy watching today's video without further ado 
let's get started okay so yeah 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 so there's something i want to trace and i have done a perfume video a long time ago i've done a perfume video where i was showing you guys my latest perfume collection and after i made that video i think the internet was listening to me because i came across a video that's showing me a place where i can get like big name perfumes but like the the fake versions of them if i may put it that way and i would love to one day use chanel number no. five one day use chanel number no. five so i went to a shop that sells these perfumes and i wanted to see if they have a knockoff of chanel number no. five so that i can buy it because i cannot afford the real one no 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 i cannot afford the real one so i went to that shop to see if they have like the fake one and how can i get it and all that and i didn't find it they were already sold out they were already 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 sold out of chanel number no. five and i was like okay let me just start smelling the ones that they have in the store maybe i might end up liking one of them, one of them, one of them, despite me never hearing about them at all whatsoever. So, the perfume that I ended up buying is... Salute. That's S. O L U Oh my god, this is too far. Let's maybe put it closer. That's S O L I T U D E It's solitude. <laughs> I was like salute. It's solitude. I never even bothered to read the name I just loved it and in my mind I thought it was like salute hey every time someone sees you wearing this perfume they're like hey you smell good you know salute but it's solitude okay good First, if I can get a thumbnail. Why is that? It's definitely not wanting to zoom in on me at this point. But yeah, let's see. I think we got it. I think we got the thumbnail. Now let's open it. Pandora scent Pandora scents okay. Inside it is this I have tried this video previously and I ended up breaking my perfume and I was so devastated so I'm holding on to this for dear life please don't break on me um, okay. it has this beautiful lid diamond like lid 
is solitude Pandora Saints I hope you can hear that sound Here's the lead. Do you see the lead? Here's the lead. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see the lead? Do you see the lead? Here's what the lead looks like. And, and here's the perfume. Perfume. smells sweet whenever I'm looking for a perfume I always always want to find something that smells sweet and thus smells amazing that smells sweet so I love solitude I don't know if it was perhaps trying to imitate another brand if there's another brand that's really like a solitude and i'm really interested to know what that one smells like you know what i mean okay solitude 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 love it love it love it but of course i had to get two i had to get two and the other one that i got it's already out of the box obviously was this one and with this one it smells the best for me then it says Zara R woman Zara okay Zara R A R woman O M E N Zara woman and it has like this I don't know what you call them but yeah this line thing that makes it sound like this it's heavy it's heavy gloss if you know how heavy glass and how it it feels like when you're tapping on it it's heavy glass finished finished already I've used all of it now I've started with solitude salute um, completely finish finish but it smelled pretty sweet for me pretty cute for me i love everything that smells sweet like vanilla so i think this is a zara woman knockoff so if you're someone who uses zara woman spray maybe you would know what it smells like and then this is a knockoff of that perfume I love how it smells it smells great it smells fresh it smells vanilla ish and it smells sweet 
which is something I'm into and I started using this one before the Solitude one and yeah the lid I should stop looking at you. I should look at you. Always looking at the review camera, but instead of looking at the lens, I should be looking at the lens. After that, I always like for my clothes to smell fresh. Not necessarily perfumey, but fresh. Do you know that smell when you're entering a shop, like specific shops though? And then they don't smell like perfume, but they smell fresh and like you are in a beautiful flor flower garden. And that's like a vibe for me. I love that smell, which is why I, after washing my clothes, and I normally take them off the washer dry and then I pack them or I iron them and then hang them so that when I'm ready to wear them I don't have to start by ironing them before I wear them so I make sure that everything is packed in its state for being ready to be worn by me so after I put everything nicely I usually take the spray I'm about to show you I'm like fff, 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 so that they can smell fresh and yeah more like stay soft or like clothing softener scent but kind of different and I, I just love the spray for that it makes everything smell fresh but it says room spray though I guess it's an air freshener that I use to freshen my clothes which is kind of weird <laughs> but it smells so good it's by it's oh so heavenly home sweet home seaside escape seaside escape and this is what it looks like Oh, so heavenly seaside escape it says room spray with the tranquil scent of white lotus in a cool ocean breeze let me tell you this smells so good you guys I normally use it for my clothes and it's it's about to finish already like can you can you tell it's about to finish there's only just a tiny bit into bit left i need to go get more but love it that's oh so e a v e n l y oh so heavenly oh so heavenly i love it since it's a room <laughs> spray that i use for my clothes to no lali yes guys like if you must no lali dim low because obviously i'm using an air freshener on my clothes like who does that yeah right but let, trust and best believe it, it smells so good. Like it stays soft times two. If you're South African, you know what I mean. I love the smell, you guys. If there was um, a body lotion that smells like this, I would probably use it. I think maybe there is, but I'm not aware of smells so good I love it it makes my clothes smell fresh silky soft amazing love it I think I sprayed this let me just wipe. All done. All wiped. Wipe, wipe, wipe. Wipe, wipe, wipe. All wiped. All done. done. All wiped. Wipe, wipe, wipe. This will, this will, this will. Dig, 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 dig. 
okay the next thing is i want uh, the, the next thing i want to show you is this castor oil that i use um i use castor oil and you're probably thinking if you were like me you would use castor oil for health purposes where you drink it i think it was for detoxing or something like that because every time you use it like after christmas when you've been eating sweets all day long and you know your parents would make you drink castor oil but this one is a different kind of castor oil and it smells so good i cannot stand the smell of castor oil Ugh, just the smell just gets me gaggy but this castor oil smells so good it says hair oil restorative okay castor oil promotes thicker hair helps strengthen weak hair hair oil and then it says castor oil castor hair oil castor oil it's by vatika afro naturals i love using it it smells so good you basically okay it has a lid right here I'm just trying to show you and then you twist it like this when you twist it it opens it opens and then you go to your hair braids and start going like this in between the lines of your hair braids go like this you can see it getting out right and then after that you and then after that you've done with your lines you close it again i like how easy and convenient it is to use and it says use twice a week you can't use it all the time because you're not going to get you're gonna get your hair pores clogged or something so you don't want to use that apply regularly to the scalp and hairline and the length of a hair when styling can be used when protective styling to keep the scalp moist i only use it when i have protective styles and i use it once or twice a week that way i don't clog my my hair with oil because i have such thin hair that moisture just sits on the outside so i usually use this probably why it's clogged and then after i take out my braids i then wash everything to just get the greasiness out but um, trying this out for the very first time to just see how it goes it's good to try new things I had a different one that I was using but it had avocado oil in it and I would just use it and then it worked well but I've had people speaking great things about castor oil how it um, also just makes your hair look shiny and great so I'm just experimenting with it to see how it will go Hopefully, all will go well with castor oil. We're done with castor oil. One other thing that I bought that I actually regret. Sometimes trying new things is good for you, but sometimes you might notice that uh, this is not working out for me. I do not want this. Um, this is what I bought. I've used it one time or two times, I think. I didn't use it very much. It's coconut oil. It's also for your hair. It says, Afri True Naturals 
protect and grow hair and scalp six in one spray that's what got me the six in one spray what are the six things it's anti-itch anti-flake anti-breakage moisturizing stimulates hair growth and probiotic promotes healthy scalp i was like you got me six in one wow this is amazing let me try something new and then i got this the thing is it is so thick you guys it is so thick i thought it was supposed to be i thought it was watery like you're just like and then you're good to go this is so thick i want to show you how thick it is it basically looks like coconut this coconut when you're spraying it, it feels like you're spraying coconut this is what it looks like so if you're spraying it on your head this is what it does so you get white all over your head and i had no idea that it looked like that i thought it was watery so do this and then you rub it i guess that's how i'm gonna be using it because i thought you have to have to have to rub, 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 rub. So that's the downside, and that's what I didn't like about it: the fact that it looks white and creamy instead of being watery. You know, I hear my neighbor or something. Okay, let's wait and end it and move on to the next one. After getting it and realizing that it's like that. After realizing that it's not watery, after realizing that it's not watery, um, I had to go back to the shop, I had to go back and get a watery one that I could use. So I went back to the shop and I got this. I got this cable. Cable. really soft and shiny hair scalp nourisher okay it's tea tree oil tea tree oil tea tree oil yeah It's too hard to press on it as well which is I think it's um it's a default only in this one maybe the other ones are easier to use but it's transparent but it's still too oily and greasy I would love to get something that's not greasy something that's not greasy would definitely be a plus for me but yeah and then what else do i want to show you i'm just trying to wipe this greasiness off of my hand because i want to open this book i receive a book as a gift I received this book as a gift and I was like, ooh, I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna open the book in the gift. I'm gonna open the book in the gift. I'm gonna open the book in the video. I'm gonna open this book in the video. I wanna make it a video, make it a book video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be opening this book that I received as a gift for my birthday. Yeah, we have this policy of buying each other books for our birthdays just buy somebody a book and something they would like that's cool so i got this book for my birthday what else did i get i got something that i don't know how to use and what it's used for but it's written there i still haven't used it i don't know where i put it i recently moved hence you seeing 
um, the arrangement but I moved in a different room but still within the same building and I'm still unpacking and I don't know where it is um, but the, the nice thing about the room that I'm in is that there's a door for the bedroom I didn't like the sliding like doors and not being able to lock the bedroom in the old like room that like or place I had so I was like mm. and also the upper, upper part the wall was not all the way up to the bedroom so it was like halfway so it was just I didn't like that I wanted to feel like I'm in a different room and I'm in a different room so with this place like the wall is all up to the ceiling and then um, there's a door in each bedroom I have a bedroom door I have a kitchen door and I have like the bathroom door which oh, I always wanted but um, in terms of lighting and filming I'm still trying to figure things out where which spot would be the great spot for me because now the window is behind me of which in my old place the window was just in front of me and I could get natural light but now I'm just like using the upstairs light is in the ceiling lights instead of you know natural lighting and um, I'm still trying to figure out maybe I will open the window to get the natural lighting in and then you can see the background as in the kitchen background but then the thing is my microwave is a mirror that means you're gonna be seeing the camera you're gonna be seeing everything which might be a bit clumsy or you might see the the fridge or something like that but anyway maybe I might end up filming in my bedroom and just put it putting in the black background the black background always just like saves me in every scenario but for today I just like I don't want to set up any background I'm just gonna work as it is and I'm bulk filming so the majority of the videos are gonna be seeing this month are uh, having this background in the next time probably with the back background up until I figure things out so yeah anyway let me just go look for that thing that I got as a birthday gift I think it's in the wardrobe but yeah I got it. I got this dream on. Dream. Dream. On. It says a unique aromatherapy pillow patch for the promotion of sleep, relaxation, and anxiety relief. Place this unique dream on pillow patch under your pillowcase directly into the cushion the fragrance of essential oils soften over time it is recommended to initially position the pillow patch further away from the center of the cushion according to your comfort and then it says filled of dreams a unique blend of essential oils for the promotion of sleep and relaxation Dream on, dream on, pillow patch, dream on, pillow patch. This is what I got. I still haven't opened it. I do not know how to use it. And then it has an owl in it. Do you see the owl? It has an owl in it. And um, if you're South African, you pretty much know what owls are associated with. So, yeah. Have you guys heard of this? Have you guys heard about it? Have you? Not? Yes? Mm -hmm. I'd like to hear your thoughts. If yes, please do let me know how you, you liked it. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. I just found this is my first time seeing this or anything. So, yeah. Do let me know. Now, let's move back to my book that I got. the book Tr 
Tracy Keeter. It says mountains beyond mountains. Looks interesting. Has a great title. I'm definitely judging a book by its cover right now. But it looks great. Looks like a great read. New York Times bestseller. That's definitely giving you a sign that it is a great book. Um, yeah. A man who would cure the world. Wow. Wow. Okay. Let's see. In medical school, Paul Farmer found his life's calling to cure infectious diseases and to bring the life-saving tools of modern medicines to those who need them most. Tracy Kidler's magnificent account shows how one person can make a difference in solving global health problems through a um, clear eyed understanding of the interaction of politics wealth social systems and disease profound and powerful mountains beyond mountains takes us from harvard to haiti peru cuba and russia as farmer changes people's minds to his dedication to the philosophy that the only real nation is humanity and I think the reason I got this book is because we, a month before my birthday in January, we were all asked to just talk about what we're grateful for and like why, what are your dreams and aspirations in life and all that. And I, one of, amongst the things I said was that Ever since, ever since I was a little girl, I have always dreamed of saving the world in one way or another. And I am beyond grateful that I work in a field where we are trying to save the planet, focusing on climate science related matters and how we can mitigate potentially reverse climate change and that we are thinking about the future generations and we want to live the planet better or in the same condition for the future generations we're not being greedy about it i'm grateful to to work in a field that actually thinks about future generations and the person who bought me this book was like oh that's so sweet and then a month later they buy me this book mountain beyond mountains and i think it's a great book i'm gonna have an amazing time reading it and um, i'm so grateful for it and i really loved the book that um they gave me last year as well they um, they gave they gave me the book about Malala about Taliban. Let me show you, but I'm pretty sure you have seen it. It's up there, there on top. Let me show you. Let's put this one here. They got me this book, um, Malala. Malala, it's a non-fiction book of the year. It's the winner of the Nobel Peace Prize. It's, wow, there are so many people out there in the world doing amazing things. And humanity really is a beautiful thing. And I'm grateful that there are people still think about other people besides themselves. And it says, I am Malala, the girl who stood up for education and was shot by the Taliban. <sighs> It's by Malala, but and uh, an association with Christina. And this is Malala. Oh my gosh, she's so adorable. Um, yeah, she's amazing. And who is Malala? I am Malala. This is my story. It's such a beautiful book. I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend it 
definitely recommend it the person who actually bought me these books they took um the liberty of asking me what books do you like reading and i said i love biography kinds of books and i like make an example and i really like i said i really like becoming michelle obama i really find that an interesting book to read and then they bought me the malala book and absolutely amazing love it love it and i'm gonna love this one too i'm gonna love this one too and if there's a new book that i'm gonna buy myself this year is the kerry washington book the kerry washington book i think she has an amazing story to tell i i love kerry washington and i look forward to reading her book i think she has an amazing amazing very amazing amazing uh, mind and um yeah i really want to read all about her i really enjoyed reading malala and i'm looking forward to reading mountains beyond mountains obviously going to be a great book i mean it's a bestseller have you guys read either of these books that i've showed you if yes did you find them great did you not find them great i absolutely love malala malala she is an amazing woman absolutely great woman i am malala this is malala